What's up guys, Bagels and Cheesy back again today for another Transformers Creo review. And as promised, today I will be reviewing Megatron. So I'm going to do an unboxing and build him up into truck mode, show you guys him in his uh, truck mode, and then show you guys him in his um, bot mode. So, quick uh, overview of the packaging. It is the Creo packaging. You got his Creon figure on the side. You have the nice little foil sticker. Works with leading brands like Lego. You get four Creons included, which is Megatron, Shockwave, a specialist guy, and a police guy. Of course, you have the Hasbro label right there. They tell you the fact that you can build it uh, into truck or robot form. And he has 310 pieces, ages 8 to 14. On this side, you just have the Creo Transformers logo with the shown actual size Creon figure. And then the back shows you a nice picture of Megatron. Little gimmick function. All his Creon figures. A nice shot of... Um, Prime, Starscream, and Sentinel Prime. As well as him in his uh, truck mode. So, let's do a quick unpackaging of the figure. I don't know where my knife is right now, so we're going to have to hack away at it with a key which is just fine. So you're going to cut apart two little uh, stickers that held this together. Uh, slide it past the handle. And we open it up. And there's all the cool stuff inside that you get. So, what do we have? We have his Megatron Creon figure. Little specialist Creon figure. His police SWAT team Creon figure. Nice bag of red, black, and gray parts here. Another bag of the same. Another bag of the same, as well as rubber tires and nice uh, chrome. Uh, silver plated rims right there which is nice oh <clears throat> here's shockwave hiding under the uh, pieces that I just showed you guys and then another bag so all in all you get four bags of pieces four Creon bags a nice really thick uh, instruction booklet there And, uh, of course, full-color pages to show you how to build him into either uh, truck or bot mode. So his alt mode or his bot mode. And I really like this design of, uh, of Megatron. It's something, I guess, from the movie-verse mixed with, you know, the Megatron we all know from different uh, series of Transformers. You also get his lovely sticker sheet right there. A couple Decepticon logos. Optimus Prime was here on this little uh, window shield, whatever that is right there. So very nice. So that is the unboxing. Let me build him up and I will be right back with Movie Magic to show you him in truck mode. Alright everybody, so I'm back with the truck mode of Megatron, and that is him in truck mode. Nice, large, as you can see, pretty large truck. Um, looks like a very destructive killing machine. He's got these nice little claw things on the front here, which you can move uh, up and down, as you can see. So, 
nice little stabbing devices there. Um, the instructions kind of show you, as well as the box art, that you can just keep them like this. Has some headlamps here, some clear um, lights right there. Uh, he has the gray lamps right here, which I don't understand why they didn't give you clear in the instruction booklet. They look like clear, but the only pieces uh, weren't this clear ones. They were just uh, the solid gray. But that's cool. Uh, you have some nice detail on the top here with these uh, orangish yellow colors, as well as sticker sheets. These pipes you could just pull up and down for the exhaust. Just nice heavy uh, truck, and it's it's a heavy piece too. It's very well built, um, nice solid piece. If you're into this mode and the alt mode, if you want to keep him um, like this, he rolls very nicely. His wheels all spin very nicely. He has a little bit of like a chromish silver uh, paint on the uh, rims there, which is, are nice. Uh, these things do open as well. So you could put uh, little Creo pieces in there, I guess, if you wanted to. I like this little cylinder detail right there. Very nice. Doors open. Just like so. So you could put the drivers in there. Or anybody else you wanted to put in there. And then you have uh, this little thing here for the trailer hitch if you wanted to uh, put a trailer in the future. I don't know if they're going to release a trailer for him or not, but that'd be pretty cool. Or maybe you can attach Optimus Prime's trailer if you wanted to do that for some reason. But just very nice. Uh, some of the pros and the cons to the build. Uh, the pros are it only took me about 45 minutes to an hour maybe, just because I was watching TV while I was building it, uh, to build this. So it's a quick build. Uh, it's a rather um, easy build, even though the instructions listed as like four out of five in the difficulty scale. You know, it's not that hard for an adult to build. I think a child with you know supervision would be able to build it as well. Um, the other pros is it's a fun build. Um, you know, because like I said, I like building Legos ever since I was a kid. So uh, even at my age of 28, it's still fun to uh, put stuff like this together nice looking truck. Uh, some of the cons in the instructions it lists uh, the pieces there's like two or three different grays in this even though you probably can't tell there's two or three different gray colors so there's light grays like a beige gray and a darker gray as well as black so in the instructions it doesn't really differentiate from the grays all that well so you're going to really have to pay attention to which pieces that you're uh, utilizing in each step to make sure it's the proper gray color that you're building it with. Other than that, that's pretty much the only cons really, except like I said, I'm nitpicky. I wish these headlamps here were like a nice clear look like, um, like these lights are down here because that would be cool for headlights or maybe if they were this yellow color right here. Um, and maybe if these right here on the mirror had just a little solid piece like you would have all on the hood right here, uh, that might be nice little finishing touches. But other than that, um, that is what you get when you build Megatron in his truck mode. So now let's cover some of the figures here that you get with him, his Creon figures. You're going to get this light, nice little um, Megatron figure right here with his plasma cannon. Very cool. And obviously they're just like Lego figures, so you just assemble them bit by bit. So that's him without his helmet on. So you're just gonna put his head on, put his torso and his legs, um, put them together. Then you just snap his little uh, plasma cannon on. And that is his Creon representation of Megatron. And like I said, I like these little figures. They're cool little collectible figures. As you can see Mirage back there, I built him as well. But um, I like that each one comes with their own little Creon figure. Very cool. And on the plus side, he uh, comes with um, Shockwave as well, which is really cool to have his uh, second in command, if you would, come with him. I thought that was very cool. So obviously, I guess we won't be getting a Shockwave pistol, uh, which is fine. Maybe we will. Who knows? It'd be pretty cool to have a little... Uh, 
shockwave laser pistol in uh, Creo form. That is shockwave. Very nice little details on the chest there. And his, his mono eye here also has some gray lines through it, if you could see right there in that light. So very cool. So shockwave. Then you get these two little humans, which I really don't care about myself since I won't be keeping him in truck mode. I won't be keeping him in his alt mode. I'll be keeping him in his bot mode. But these are guys that you could um, put into the truck if you wanted them to drive. You get the SWAT team guy. And then this little dude right here with this nice scar going on. So that covers uh, him in his alt mode. Once again, very nice truck, very solid, very large. Like I said, for you hardcore collectors, maybe if you wanted to get uh, one of each figure so you could keep him in his alt mode next to his bot mode, that would be a nice display, very cool. I'll just be buying one of each just to keep in their bot modes myself. But uh, very cool. Also, I chose not to put his little name, which says Megatron, on his license plate. I didn't really feel that was necessary, but he does have a sticker that you could put uh, right here on his license plate that says Megatron. Um, mud flaps do work. Pretty neat. A little trailer hitch right there as well. So very cool figure. All right, guys. So again, give me a minute, and I will be back with him in his bot form. Alright guys, so here we have Megatron all finished in his robot form and that is a big transformer. Very big. He is almost, I'd say he's about a foot tall if I didn't have his knees bent. He'd be about a foot tall. Very nice. Uh, this build took a little longer obviously because I had to disassemble the truck and then put him together. He took about an hour, hour and 15 minutes to build. But well, well worth it. Very cool. Um, all his fingers are poseable. And they all swivel on one of these little pieces right here. Head is uh, rotatable on a ball joint. So you can look him in any direction that you wish him uh, to look. Has these nice little oil canisters on a swivel back here. As well as this little container back here that you can open up and put things in. And that turns and stuff. Very cool. Arms are also on ball joints. One at the shoulder and one at the elbow. As well as the wrist you can turn only this way. You can't turn it up and down or side to side. You could just rotate it 360 degrees. But it's still cool because you can move the fingers. And uh, he has uh, extra storage for his missiles right here which were the pipes on the truck. As you can see, the little missile in the shoulder joint right there. Now what Megatron is lacking is obviously his plasma cannon, but that's just because of the design of this Megatron. Am I okay with it? Yeah, I'm cool with it. I think um, this Megatron has enough flashiness to it um, to hold its own. So it does look very cool. Um, a couple of things. The instructions... Um, on the box art itself has pictures of these doors right here on his arms. Uh, if I could get it in better light for you. Right here there's two doors on his arms. There we are. These. Now in the instructions they're not present. It doesn't tell you how to put them on or anything. It doesn't even include them in the steps. Um, but in the box art, it did show the doors. So what I did was I just attached, had some extra pieces, which you get with all these I've noticed so far. So I attached um, this little piece right here, little swivel piece to the back of his arm. And then I just went ahead and uh, used this little piece on the door right here to attach it. Just so it would match up with the box art. I don't know, it seemed pretty cool. So those pieces are present on his arms if you wanted them there. And I also plugged in the uh, two windows weren't in his uh, instructions, but I went ahead and put them on the back of his legs. I just thought they added a little nice addition, as well as these two little pieces right here, one and two, 
just because, you know, <clears throat> when they transform, obviously, from vehicle mode and alt mode to a bot mode, um, all their pieces should be present. And I thought just some of the recognizable pieces should be there, like his doors and his windows. So that's why I put them on his uh, robot form. Not in the instructions, but seems to make sense to me. Chest piece, very cool. That's obviously the grill from his truck mode. Oh, and also I noticed I um, did have two clear um, of these pieces for his headlights in his truck mode. They were just sitting um, in the corner of the box, so I didn't notice them. So anyways, they were there, so that complaint is now gone. Very cool, nice details. And he stands, like I said, he's, uh, he's pretty massive. Um, compared to Mirage, who is about that tall. Megatron stands pretty high, pretty high. So Mirage is a good six, six and a half inches. And like I said, uh, Megatron's about 12 inches, maybe even 13. Who knows with his uh, legs extended. But very nice size uh, Creo figure. And you really get the bang for your buck for 30 bucks. 29.99 or whatever, 29.95. You know, he transforms, or not transforms, you could build him in the two vehicle, you know, one vehicle mode, one bot mode, and uh, he's well worth the money. The fact that you could build this giant ass robot or the really nice truck for 30 bucks, I think uh, Hasbro has a really nice idea going with Creo, and uh, I'm definitely going to buy a lot more of their stuff. Um, my next review, come back for Prowl. I will definitely be building him up. So uh, please come back for him, as well as Jazz, who I did pick up as well this weekend. So, I appreciate you guys coming back for my reviews. Uh, this has been the Transformers Hasbro Creo Megatron. Alright, so come back again for the next one. Thanks, guys.